Well, I've ripped and dug out burrows on a sandy black hill. Eradicating rabbits doesn't take a lot of skill. And a boy born in the valley doesn't find a mark to kill. No self respecting farmer lets a rodent eat his wheat. He'll shoot him and he'll skin him and he'll dress him up to eat. But since the spread of mix, so he's almost got a beat. Is a rain where his woman provides and he is rare to complain. And I still love that smell of that sandy soil. Some say it's dusty, some say it's gold, cause it grows the sweetest fat lambs markets ever sold. And I don't mind at all if you call me a man. To officially induct John Williamson, I'd like to introduce a man that John once called, and I quote, the only true greenie that he'd ever met. Please welcome Senator Bob Brown. Thank you, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a very great honour indeed to be asked to induct our singer, songwriting legend, John Williamson, into the ARIA Hall of Fame here in the Horden Pavilion tonight. The love of Australia threads through every cell in John Williamson's being, and in turn he makes us all feel good with our Australian accent to be alive under the Southern Cross. John, congratulations. Hundreds of thousands of rugby fans have enjoyed singing Walsing Matilda with you on the way to winning the Bledisloe Cup. But tonight, 22 million Australians celebrate you, your Australia 
and the way over 40 years you have constantly reminded us of what a brilliant, marvellous country this is and what a brilliant, marvellous musician and songwriter you are. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a quick look at the musical works of John Williamson. There's a message from the outback. Call him Mally Boy, True Blue or just Fair breeze. Dinkum. John Williamson is an Australian icon. It all started in Quambatook with his folks wanting him to learn piano. And I hated it because the kids are out playing football I'm trying to learn to play piano. And I left my piano music on the piano in the little weatherboard town hall where I had my lessons one night, you know, on purpose. And uh, that night the hall got burnt down. I didn't light it. But everyone's saying, oh, our town hall's got burnt down. Oh. And I'm saying, you bloody beauty, you know. <laughs> When it comes down to writing songs and, and telling stories in songs about us as Australians, he's the bloke. Galleries all pink alive, crystal nights with diamond stars. Willow first came to our attention in June of 1970 when he won New Faces with what's become one of his signature songs. Let me tell you of an interview with an old man in New Lawsy was really made old man Emil hit in Sydney. I can run the pants of a kangaroo, but I don't know. Everybody else was singing with American accents. So all of a sudden you had a fella singing songs sounding like this. If I've got to say what I am in one one word, it's entertainer. I arrived in the UK. He does mean such a lot to the average Australian. Good evening to everyone on School of the Air for a very special assembly that we have. Good evening, everyone. Any kids out there, I got a little pup. Well, I got a song for you. Oh, piddle, diddle, diddle, you little piddle, diddle, little bum. The main reason I got into writing songs for kids and performing it for kids is because when I was a little kid, there was no Australian music around. Everybody say, poo, oh, poo, little piddle, poo, little piddle, little bum. Fans or supporters in Australia are just like old friends. I can walk around any town in, the, in Australia and people will just walk up to me like they saw me yesterday. And the Cooter Mandra Wattle is my friend. For all at once my childhood never left me. John's also shown a great concern for our native flora and fauna and the land we live in. Rip, rip, wood ship, turn it into paper. Throw it in the bin, no news today. Since then, he's gone on to win countless awards and accolades, including three arias and 24 golden guitars, including one for Best Vocal Collaboration of the Year with Warren H. Williams on his landmark song, Raining on the Rock. Look at some of the most significant events in Australia in the past few decades, and John Williamson's been there. The 2000 Sydney Olympics, Steve Irwin's memorial. Give me a home among the gun trees with lots of palm trees. The Bledisloe Cup, Sir Donald Bradman's memorial, the Rugby World Cup, and the list goes on. I really don't think John uh, will be properly appreciated in, in the scheme of things as Australia is growing and finding its own identity until many years' time and people will look back and say what a wonderfully pioneering artist this poet was. Now, in 2010, John Williamson's music has turned 40 and after playing clubs, pubs, theatres, festivals and countless watering holes across our great wide brown land, He's celebrating with two history-making sold-out shows at the Sydney Opera House with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. The spirit of the land is running through my, my entire songwriting and I, because I really believe that the one thing that will bring all Australians together in a really positive way is the love of the original land itself. Uh, John Williamson, it's my fantastic pleasure on behalf of everybody here and everybody in this great nation to induct you into the ARIA 
Hall of Fame. Uh, I can go home now, can I? Uh, now I've got this award. Uh, Bob, Bob Brown, you went into politics not for yourself. You went into politics for us, for us, this ancient land. And uh, uh, I'm very proud to be your friend. Thank you, Bob. Uh, I am naturally really, really honoured. I, I uh, didn't think I'd be shaking as much as I am now. Um, I have uh, so many people to thank, of course, um, but uh, Lisa's only one of me. I'm not a band. <laughs> but uh, I, uh, firstly, my darling daughters, Amy and Georgie, thank you for being here. Thank you, darlings, and, and you thank uh, Mary Kay for putting up with me in those struggling years. I, I still, although I say that I was a 13-year one-hit wonder with old man Emu, um, and uh, Phil and Chris Matthews, you've uh, been with me for that, that 30 years. It must be a record in itself to have that uh, management marriage for so long. And uh, thank you, Phil and Chris. Thank you. <laughs> and um, Meg Doyle, my darling, uh, if you hadn't arrived probably four years ago, I probably would have headed to the hills, really, and never been seen again. Uh, physically, I would have gone up the mountains and never come back. I think uh, we have a long way to go now together. Thank you, um, darling. And, uh, but, but last but not least, of course, I thank all the wonderful people out there. Look, Aussie's such a great place. But, of course, I, I do, think, like someone else has said, this, is, this country, we are so lucky to live here. And I'll be singing uh, its praises and reminding everybody just how lucky we are to be so free in, in this wonderful country. And we must keep taking care of it. Thank you. Are you just a little bit more in love with him now than you were before? <laughs> Correct. Ladies and gentlemen, John was originally going to perform Kookaburra Sits in the Old Gum Tree. But apparently our lawyers were worried that Minute Work might sue because it sounds too similar to Down Under. <laughs> So instead, ha, with accompaniment from his mate Cole Watson, here's John with a song about friendship and a fair go for all. Ladies and gentlemen, John Williamson. Thank you. Hey, true blue. Don't say you're gone Say you've knocked off for a smoker And you'll be back later on Hey, true blue Hey, true blue Give it to me straight Just another dying race Hey, true blue True blue Is it me and you? Is it mom and dad? Is it a cockatoo? It is standing by your mate When he's in a fight Or will she be right True blue I'm asking you Hey, true blue 
can you bear the load? If they sell us out like sponge cake, will you tie it up with wire just to keep the show on the road? Hey, true blue. Hey, true blue. No beef and income. Is your heart still there? If they sell us out like sponge cake, do you really care? Hey, true blue. This is your chance to join in now. Here we go. True blue, is it me and you? Mum and Dad. Cockatoo. Is it a cock? Stand up, boy, mate. It is standing by your mate. When she's in a fight, oh, will she be right? True blue. I'm asking.